In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Revit phases as we begin to work on our new plan. So right here, I have my first floor existing. And if I come over here to my properties and scroll down, you'll see right here that my phase filter is set to show all and my phase is set to existing. So we're going to create two more views one for our demo plan and one for our new construction plan. So I'm going to come down here to the project browser to where I have my first floor existing and I'm going to right click. I'm going to duplicate the view and this time I'm just going to duplicate because I just need my model elements. And then I'm going to rename this. So I'm going to change this from first floor existing to first floor demo. And over here in the phase filter, I'm going to switch this from the existing phase to the new construction phase. And I'm going to change my phase filter to say show previous and demo. And what this does is this sets up our view so that we can see which elements we are demolishing. Now, it looks like nothing's really changed other than my walls are gray now. That's because everything that is made on the existing phase is now showing up as existing. Nothing showing up is demolished yet because we haven't told Revit that we we're going to demolish anything. So I'm going to come up here my modify tab and over here, this is the demolish tool. And then I can just click on anything that I want to demolish and Revit's going to change this so that those items will show up as being demolished. So I'm just going to click to show which items I'm going to demolish. And now if I come back to my first floor plan, you'll notice that nothing's nothing's changed on my existing plan. All that stuff is still there. But on my demo plan, it's now showing as being demolished. And the next thing that we're going to do is create our new construction phase. So I'm going to duplicate this one again and rename this. And we're going to call this one first floor new. And then I'm going to leave the phase as new construction, but I'm going to change the phase filter because now I don't want to see the previous phase and the demo phase. I want to see the previous phase and the new work that we're putting on there. So I'm going to hit show previous and new, and you'll see that anything on there that was demolished now disappears. But if I come to my demo plan, it's still there. And the reason this is, is that all this stuff still exists in the Revit model. It's just that as we go from view to view, we've told Revit in each view that we want to see different elements. So first floor, it's going to show us all of our existing elements. Demo is going to show us any elements that we're demolishing. And then our new plan doesn't show us the demo, but it will show us the new walls that we draw. Now I can actually come in here because you can see it looks like I forgot a few things that, to demolish. And I can actually demolish these in my new construction plan. So I'm going to demolish the rest of this kitchen. And if I come back to my demo plan, you'll see that those elements are now dashed as well. And then if I ever demolish something that I didn't mean to demolish, like this window, I can just click on this. And if I come down here or scroll up, to the phasing of this window, you'll see that each element has a phase it was created and a phase it was demolished. So this was created in existing and demolished in new construction. So since I accidentally made the wrong choice there, I'm going to switch that from new construction to none. And then that's easily, uh, that mistake's easily undone. So the last thing that I need to show is now when I come in here to start drawing walls, if I were to draw wall, this is now a new wall. But if I come here, you'll see it's not showing up on my demo plan and it's not showing up on my existing plan. That's because 
these walls were created in the new construction, so they're only going to show up in the new floor plan. They're not going to show up in the demo or the existing floor plan, which is what we want. So this is a way for us to, to manage the, the changes in our projects versus showing what what's existing, showing what we want removed, and showing what we want to put into our project. And now that we have our phases set up, we are ready to begin our new floor plan.